Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing the Soundcore Motion Plus Bluetooth speaker. This thing comes in just around 100 euro and we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing it in today's video. Just a quick spoiler, this thing is pretty awesome. There is some little quirks and some things I don't like, but for the most part, this is a great Bluetooth speaker. I'm going to be going over everything you need to know in today's video. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I'm going to be talking a little bit about is the build quality and the actual speaker finish. It's got this really nice mesh grilled design along with what seems to be five individual speakers in here. You can see from all the little individual speakers. This is a really, really nice thing to look at. It's got a really nice solid build quality and hold to it. Overall, it feels really well made, especially compared to other Bluetooth speakers around the same price range. I believe the Sony SRS, I can't remember the exact model number. I had it before, but it felt very flimsy in comparison to this. And even the meshing on the front is like a high quality kind of steel feel to it. It's very strong, even putting pressure on it. It doesn't seem to give any flex or hold. However, not everything is great. The top material on top of the speaker is very much a fingerprint magnet. Everything, every piece of grease, any sort of smudge stain is going to be stuck on this for life. Even trying to clean it off and wipe it off, you can still see visible residue. Even here, if I focus, you can see as I twist around, it is all kind of mushy and messy. This is something you're gonna to have to live with for the entirety of the speaker, so you may get used to it right now if you're thinking about ordering this. However, I don't think this is a big deterrent. Because of the build quality overall, it feels quite sturdy and quite nice. One extra nice thing about this also is there's two nice rubber feet on the bottom, which keep the speaker very much in place. So pretty much any surface you put the speaker down on, as long as it's somewhat level, this thing is not gonna go anywhere. It's got nice strong rubber feet keeping it in place. So in terms of IO on this speaker, it's pretty standard for what you would expect. It does have a Bluetooth in and out connection, of course. And we also have an AUX port on the side of the speaker, which is held behind this giant rubber ceiling, which I assume is how it got such a good high water resistance quality on this. It's really, really thick and it takes a little bit of force to take off. Although it's not too bad, it's fine. You just get used to it after a while. And underneath this, we have an AUX port along with a USB type C. Thank you. I love when new devices come out with Type-C. Type-C is gonna be the future port, at least for the foreseeable future. My phone has it, everything else is gonna have it in the next couple of years. But as soon as we can get rid of micro USB, everything is gonna be better. Now, one pet peeve I do have about this, and this is kind of for all Bluetooth speakers, is the button layout on the top of the device. So there's no real standard for this, which I find very frustrating. Especially for this layout, it's a little bit annoying how they have it done. They have the Bluetooth button and pairing mode over here in the side volume up play and pause which in this case is actually the sound core symbol or icon which i'm not a huge fan of i'll be honest they have volume down and then a bass boost button there seems to be no visible standard on bluetooth speakers for how the configuration is laid out for me there's no real need to have a bass boost button on top of the device this is not something you're going to be accessing regularly this would have been fine if they had it as a switch or a dial inside behind a rubber on the top all i want to have is volume up volume down Play pause can be a single button and next and previous track. This is like the ultimate configuration for a Bluetooth speaker. Pairing mode can be nice, although you don't need to necessarily have this at all times. But all these other volume controls and skip and previous track, I think are way more valuable than these other buttons. Although this isn't such a pet peeve necessarily directly at this speaker. This is about the whole Bluetooth market as a whole. The way they have it laid out, different button stylings, everything is really confusing. And this is another thing about this that's not that great. All the buttons are really kind of flat under the grill. So none of them are accessed or dipped out. Everything is under the fingerprint mesh and you kind of have to feel and learn where they are, which is a little bit annoying. I don't like it too much. Although of course you can still control it with your Bluetooth device, but it's just a little bit of a pet peeve of mine with this actual device. Now, another thing I want to mention about the Bluetooth on this is, of course, an extra nice thing about this speaker is it does have APTX technology. So that means it will have close to real time connection between your Bluetooth. So if you're watching a video or something on your phone, the connection to the audio on the speaker will be basically seamless. So you won't be able to see a lot of delay between the device you're using and the actual Bluetooth speaker. With devices without APTX, you can see often a second, maybe even two seconds of where your video is playing and the audio is playing on the speaker. 
for just music this is fine but for video or gaming it makes it completely impossible to use thankfully with this you don't really see it that much there is a minuscule delay and for really really critical work this might not be the option for you only cable is really the option in that case but for videos this is also very suitable for so now let's get on to the main thing you're actually going to be buying a bluetooth speaker for and is actually the sound and the music quality and oh boy is this a treat to listen to because it has the five speakers the sound is so full everything has such a nice level and volume to it even for rock music the vocals are so forward but not too forward everything is so nice sounding on this speaker everything is full the bass has a nice thump the volume overall is absolutely amazing i'm going to be giving some samples in a couple of seconds but the sound is just so full compared to other bluetooth speakers again i'm going to be comparing it to the sony srs that i mentioned previously i'll be leaving a screenshot on screen it's a similar price point but just a comparison to volume and fullness is crazy the sony sounds so thin in comparison to this speaker especially for the price point it's absolutely insane and this will easily fill up a decent sized room what's nice is you also have a connection pairing mode so you can connect up multiple of these bluetooth speakers together to create a stereo signal so you can create even more craziness with this thing which i would like to do later on down the line but the quality of this is absolutely insane i will be giving you some samples again you can see how it is I may need to buy an audio subscription from another service because I'm using the YouTube audio library right now and I'm pretty limited in different samples and styles I can show you. So that's why it's kind of flat styling. <laughs> but the build quality, the actual weight, the volume and the battery life, this is an absolute killer for Bluetooth speakers. And the battery life is somewhere between eight and 12 hours. For my usage, we use it on and off. So it had a lot of standby time where it was completely off. We got around somewhere between the eight to nine hour range. The whole package is absolutely great. And especially considering the size, form factor, build quality, sound, volume, it's a really, really nice speaker for the price. Coming in at just around 100 euros on Amazon, we managed to pick it up for just around 80, I believe, thanks to a sale. So it's absolutely insane that we got it for that. It's a really, really nice Bluetooth speaker. It's something I would really recommend. I am going to be leaving links to this in the description down below if you're interested in checking it out. They're all Amazon affiliate links, so you'll be giving me a small kickback if you check it out. Anyway, guys, that's my review of the Soundcore Motion Plus. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. If you want to make any suggestions for future videos or other products you'd like me to review, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get around to them. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always. Keep it saucy. Peace.